I never felt like I wanted to cry for a concert until I saw Twice. I was invested. John Howe was my pick since day one. And then the fact that he go first, a Chinese trainee getting first on a Korean show. Do you hear that? A Chinese trainee got first in a Korean show. I was proud. I didn't know this was a really smooth makeup look. That didn't take that much time at all. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Evelyn. Wow. So, I hope you guys have been well for the last two years. Lots of things have happened, and I'm so excited to be back. So, what are we going to be doing today? As you can see, I'm fully made up. If you guys know the inspiration, good for you, because I don't think it was the most successful look I've ever done. But yes, today I'm going to be going to G Idol's concert in London. And this is my UT inspired makeup look and hair. I've been told I look like her by a lot of people. So I thought, why not embrace it fully? Do her makeup, do her hair, and then look and reflect on whether I actually look like her. And I don't know if I do, but at least I feel cute for the concert and I'm really, really excited. So in this get ready with me, I will be talking about kind of what I've been doing over the last few years, why I disappeared, what I'm going to be doing once I come back. I'm just really excited to be making videos again. It will not be a consistent thing like, oh, every week I'm going to do this. It will still be pretty inconsistent, but I'm going to make my way back because I really genuinely miss doing this and having this as kind of a hobby, having a lot of fun with you guys. And that's why I want to come back. You guys have embraced me so much already on Instagram, on Twitter or X, whatever you call it. And I'm just really excited to be back. So many things have happened with my life and I'm sure so many things have happened with your life as well. So please do leave a comment. I'm really curious to see. Maybe if you guys want to follow along, you can follow along as a makeup tutorial. But let me tell you, lots of things went wrong while I was making this video. So I wouldn't actually follow this as a makeup tutorial and more of a chatty, get ready with me, catching up with the old friends kind of thing. Cause I miss you guys so much and I'm so excited to be back. So let's jump straight into Evelyn Without Makeup. You guys can watch how we recreated this look while I update you on my life. And then I'll see you at the end of the video where I'll close this out. So let's just head straight into how I created this. So the look I'm going for today is this look. It's been such a long time, guys, that I've spoken to you that... You would think a lot of my makeup routines and steps have changed, but not really. So I start with toner. I don't always start with toner in the morning. For the sake of this video, I thought, why not start with toner? What it does? I don't know. Where should I start, right? Let's start at the what happened when I left and why I left for, for a couple of years. So I left because I graduated university, which was a huge thing. And I had a brand new job that I was going to start and it took up a lot of my time. I literally just didn't have any time to film any videos. I wanted to say like a goodbye video as well. I literally had no time once I started working. It was hard, right? So if any of you, you know, in the last few years have graduated university, college, school, high school, anything, it's a huge step. And often it's hard to find that balance of, oh, what? can I do as my job versus what can I do as kind of a hobby and to me this was always more of a hobby than I'm gonna make this my career because I love making videos I love doing YouTube and things but it's not that sustainable and I wanted a proper like nine to five job as boring as it sounds I wanted something like that because I wanted that stability and so I worked and that job was not cut out for me let's just say I did not suit doing that so if any of you know about like accounting or audit i was an auditor for a company that just let's just say i didn't really suit that kind of whole vibe the company wasn't really my thing the job wasn't my thing i literally only did it because i got an internship with them and then they offered me a graduate scheme job afterwards if i had the choice i definitely wouldn't have done it it's part of my experience so i think there was no harm in doing it it's on my cv now that's why i kind of left i'm so nasally and it's not a really great comeback because you guys are gonna be like, oh, is that really what she sounds like? So then after that job, immediately I got a job in sales, which I thought was, you know, a lot more what I wanted to do. I wanted to talk a lot more and 
audit didn't really allow me to do that the socialization for audit was very minimal i think also the people who do audit are a certain type of personality that i don't think i was and i just didn't really fit in overall whereas when i started my sales job i was an sdr so sales development representative and that just included a lot of cold calling, emails, things like that. So I'm very comfortable over the phone now. And then I was there for a bit under a year. Then the tech layoffs started pouring in. So it wasn't just my company. I unfortunately got laid off, got a good compensation package, but it was a bit unfortunate. A couple months later, I got a new job, which is the job I'm currently in. And again, I'm still in sales, but I'm now an account manager. So I get to manage current clients as well as do new business. So still I'm cold calling, I'm sending emails, but now I have my own client base where I have regular meetings with them. I make sure they're happy with what we're giving to them. Are they satisfied with their service, things like that. And it's a lot more rewarding because you have nice clients. Of course you have bad clients. So something that I love and also why I started YouTube was connecting with people now as a account manager that's exactly what I do now so I get to speak to people every day I get to connect with people I get to try and solve their problems and that's something I really love so now as to why I want to come back I just genuinely miss this like work is super super stressful for me and you know every month it's like oh my god are any deals gonna close things like that whereas this was always more of a stress reliever for me and I want to come back to it and set expectations as to what I'm going to do because I think I'm a bit harsh and strict on myself so when I did end up quitting it did feel like oh my god this was a job for me rather than a hobby which I didn't want that to feel like. I think I used this foundation last time as well. It's the Misha cushion foundation in the color 23. whole YouTube thing started feeling like more of a job and when I was starting a new job that's not really what I wanted having two two full-time jobs. I need to set more boundaries with what I watch, what I post and things like that because I think when you know when I was really doing YouTube a lot there weren't that many dramas to watch so I was very like oh let's just watch everything so then I ended up posting a lot and then I had Patreon as well so there was two forms of content they were the same content but two different streams and it was very hard to keep up and I tried to please everyone whereas I think now growing a couple years older and becoming a full-time worker employee I realized setting boundaries is very very important that's something i want to put out there straight away is that i am not going to be reacting to everything and the more people ask me to react to things the less likely i will be to react to things and also because when we were watching dramas together there wasn't a huge selection of bls out there i think that's when it really started popping off whereas now it's very not very common still obviously a very niche market but it is a lot bigger than when i used to make these videos so I'm gonna be super selective in terms of quality, in terms of acting, because there were some actors that just, I wouldn't say were great at their job, and I'm not gonna call anyone out, but you guys know who I'm talking about, I'm sure. And everyone, you know, has their own standards of what is a good performance and things, but we need to be real. Some people are not cut out to be actors and I think it's fine like I wasn't cut out to be an auditor I found a new profession I'm not calling anyone out but you have your own ideas and that's why my content from now on is gonna be a lot more open I'm not just gonna be doing drama reactions I asked you guys on Instagram and on X what you guys wanted and obviously the majority was still BL related drama content which is totally fine I will do most of that but I will also be doing things like this like get ready with me potentially vlogs of what I do on the weekends because now I do live in London so there's a lot more for me to do these days whereas in the past I used to live in a city where there wasn't a lot to do so the vlogging was never gonna be a real thing because I would have just been like mm -hmm, guys I've woken up, let's eat, and then let's sleep. Like, I can't really go outside and do anything. And it seems like you guys just are really excited by this, which is amazing. I was actually really scared to come back. And I don't know, there was a fear of, oh, people getting angry at me for being gone. But actually, when I did post, like, oh, did I miss anything? Everyone was so nice. And I low-key, like, almost cried. 
and you guys know I'm, I'm a bit of a crybaby, so it was really emotional when I saw so many familiar names, so many messages of, oh my god, I've missed you, or, oh, I, you know, things have, so many things have changed, and this has been amazing, and the, the welcome back has just been 11 out of 10 experience for me. Also, in terms of, you know, dramas and things like that, I may not have full-on reacting videos to all of them, to even the ones I'm watching, because it is very time-consuming. So, instead, I would be doing things like reviews. So, I'll watch a drama, I'll tweet about it, I'll Instagram about it while I'm watching it with you guys, but I won't make full-on videos, and at the end of the series, I'll make a video or sit down, reflect on what I liked, what I didn't like, and give it a review. So it's just a little bit easier and a little less time consuming for me. So that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing. If you guys live in the UK, it is 32 degrees today in London. And I, you can tell, like the sweats, the sweats are sweating. So I'm very, very hot. Now we move on to my eyebrows. Also, I bought this new concealer pencil, but I realized I just use full coverage foundation so i'm not gonna really be able to see this yeah don't put this on top of the foundation it doesn't work you see his eyebrows are not brushed up they seem to be brushed down so i'm not gonna brush them up with gel and so i'm gonna fill them in and then brush them into shape i'm really excited for them so i went to the concert what's it what was it called k-pop flex in germany last year was it last year two years ago Oh my god, it's been a while. And I saw G Idol performing. Amazing. They were so good. So this time around, I was like, I gotta go again. And also, I'm absolutely obsessed with the song Queen Card. It just makes me feel good, especially the ending. <laughs> So in terms of what else I've been doing over the last few years, I'm not wearing it because I'm doing my makeup, but there's a certain special someone in my life now. I <laughs> just leave it at that. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about him. I think eventually I will get him into my videos because he is also a documentary film major or whatever you call it. He has a degree in documentary film. So he knows his way around cameras, around editing, things like that. I think eventually I will get him to edit my videos because I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a big update for you guys. A big part of my label was never having been in a relationship, feeling very lonely all the time. That won't really be the label anymore. <laughs> and that again is a story for another time if you guys wanna hear. But her eyebrows look a bit light. Cause obviously she's blonde in this and I'm not dyeing my hair for a concert. Now I will do some contouring cause she's, her face is a lot skinnier than mine and she's also a lot shorter than me. Oh, and this is brand new, as you can tell. It is the art class two school, two sc Too cool for school art class. What's it called? Contour. But first, I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty contour stick. So we're gonna do the Asian contouring, which I've been seeing a lot on TikTok. My first time doing it. But first, I'm gonna do a little bit of this to slim down my face. I'm gonna do the contouring here with the Too Cool for School palette. So hopefully my face looks a little slimmer. I'm acting like I know what I'm talking about. My makeup skills have not changed in the last two years since I've done this. She's got a very, very tall nose, at least in this photo. So... I will do my best to recreate. Oh, but also, as you guys can see in the background of this, I do have a little kitten. His name is Sprite. He's literally the cutest baby ever. My partner got him for me. He was like, oh, there, there are two spiders in the kitchen. Why don't you go take a look? And I was like, ah, uh -uh. spiders? I think not. And I said, like, no, 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 just like see if they're still there. And I was like, okay, whatever. I went in, saw the cat litter box, and it just started crying. It was just like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, you're the cutest cat ever. I don't know if you can tell, but in person, my face looks skinnier. It looks very dark here, but that's fine, because we're about to fix that. I've never used this, so do I blend them together? Is there a difference? That's not a lit. <laughs> that was not a good light. Is there a difference? I think there's a slight difference. Is there? Am I gaslighting myself? My entire company knows him. My VP knows him because he is attention seeking. And anytime I'm on the phone on a client call, he's like, hey guys, I'm here too. Don't forget about me. I'm the most important baby here. So 
everybody knows him. He is the mascot for, for the team. Cool. I think I still need to do a little bit more contour here because you see his nose here is so tall. I need to really draw in my under eye bags, Egyo says, because hers are intense. As you can see, I don't really have any. And I haven't really learned how to properly do them without it looking like actual eye bags. Dramas I've been watching over the last few years. So over the last few years, I haven't really kept up with BLs basically at all. I think the only two I really watched were Semantic Error and Bad Buddy. I genuinely don't think I've watched any other one. That's it. Drama wise, I've even Korean dramas or just normal American, British dramas, I haven't really watched anything. I've just not really been up to date with watching dramas. I've rewatched like Modern Family like five times over the last two years because it's just kind of my comfort show and also TikTok. I get so many clips of them that I'm like, oh, let me just rewatch all of it again. Oh, the creasing. How do you get rid of the creasing? Didn't buy powder. So her blush is very much concentrated right under the eye. This is not the right shade either. I'm so upset. I didn't really prepare for this look, did I? This is too pink. Hers is a lot more orangey, I think. Whatever, we tried. That's all I can say is that we've tried and that's enough. In terms of music, K-pop, I'm still, as you can tell, very into K-pop. I think that's the one constant for me. I've just not stopped listening to K-pop. It's still my number one most listened to genre. Groups I've really liked in terms of music, I've really liked girl groups so i think i used to be a really hardcore boy group fan and stan whereas now i think girl groups are actually releasing more interesting music although i there are a couple of boy group songs that i'm absolutely obsessed with a couple days ago me and my sister we went to twice it was an actual life-changing event i've never felt so i've never felt like i wanted to cry for a concert until i saw twice and i've seen blackpink i've seen 80s multiple times I've seen BTS, I've seen Day6, I've seen GOT7, I've seen quite a few, Wonho, I've seen Wonho, CIX, I've seen quite a few concerts, but this was the first time that I was like, I kind of want to cry, I don't know why, but Twice just felt so, I don't know, so nice, and I wasn't even close to the front, I was so far back, because the tickets were expensive. They were just amazing and so sad that Jihyo has a fever that so she couldn't really perform as she wanted probably but still she turned out like her vocals you want you could not tell she was sick it was amazing and all their solo stages were absolutely amazing if any of you had the chance to go see twice even if it's in the back row like i was very very far back 100 percent worth it I'm using the 3CE Style Nanda palette. I think I've been using this for years. I should probably change it out. I'm just gonna use the, the white color here and just put it all over my lid. Just for kind of a base. It's not like I'm gonna do much with the eye look anyway, so it won't really matter. Boy group wise, uh, Zero Base One. I watched Boys Planet. I was invested. John Hall was my pick since day one. And then the fact that he got first. A Chinese trainee getting first on a Korean show. Do you hear that? A Chinese trainee got first in a Korean show. I was proud. Other picks, Wang Zihao, who has debuted as a soloist, Levy, Korean trainee's Hanbin, Song Hanbin, was always my top Korean trainee because I just think he's so talented. The second that man, he was debuting. Yeah, and then Jiwoon, obviously, because Jiwoon is Jiwoon. I really like Keita, <laughs> although he's also debuting in, I don't know how to pronounce it, Ev Evni. So definitely going to be supporting that. Those were kind of my top you picks. I'm almost like 100% satisfied with the final one for Zero Base One. Other boy groups, I've been really liking Treasure. I know they're very controversial, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail about them, but I actually really like their music. A lot of people don't. Like, they don't like Bonabana. Bonabana love ya. I really like the song. I'm just gonna quickly put some brown into the corners, even though I don't, I can't tell if she does, but I feel like it helps with the, the eyes open up a little more. So underneath her eyes, the egg yourselves are intense. I'm gonna smile. I don't have any. I'm gonna actually use my eyebrow pencil and draw in the egg yourself. 
Bum, 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 bum. Okay, girl. I'm kind of, I'm kind of doing it. So actually, I'm gonna use the pink here and put it right underneath my eye. Let's just move on. It's going nowhere. And then I can see that her eyeliner goes up. My hoods, my eyelids, extend quite far out. So they're like all the way over here. Very droopy. Like all of this. Mm -mm. It goes up to here. So if I were to draw eyeliner like her, I would have to go down and up very far. I can do it. I can do it. Don't don't raise your eyebrows. Don't raise your eyebrows. You're fine. Look straight ahead. Look. There is no eyelid space. Oh, I'm messing up. Let's remove that. Let's try this eye is not the worst. I think I can fix it. Never give up. Giving up is not part of my vocabulary, is it? Mm -hmm. I know the problem. It's because this eyeliner, this eyelid, goes further down than this one. Think we're there. It's not great. Let me drop the oh my brown 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 brown. Do you guys think I need a little more blush? I think we need blush. I'm not 100% always like mm, I support fast fashion, but I'm wearing Yes Style this Shein makeup. So low key, I really like She Glam. Like I think this is really good. Now, while we move on to the final stages of this never ending makeup and me talking. In terms of what I want to do moving forward, now I look burp. I'd love to know what you guys want as content from me because I did ask a lot of you on Instagram and Twitter, but not all of you are on it or follow me. So I'd love to hear what you guys want as content from myself. I will do my best to kind of let you guys know what the schedule will look like, but it will be a little bit unpredictable every now and then, obviously with work, because it is unpredictable sometimes. I'm different, you guys are different. So maybe content will change while, you know, we do this. And we've all grown up a lot over the last few years. You know, COVID is kind of finished. It's low-key coming back though. So we're not gonna talk about that. And then other things like, like I said, I graduated. I'm, I know a lot of you guys have graduated or finished school or moving on to a second chapter. So many things have changed. I'd love to hear what has changed with all of you. So I'm really curious to hear about what you guys have been doing. Wow. 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 Okay, that's all I need. Look at that. Can you tell? That looks way better than this eye. Look at that. My hair up. It's there. So makeup really is powerful, huh? This is good. This is new as well. Twinkle Pop Glittering Eye Stick in color 4, Petal Me. This is good. So first, let's curl the eyelashes again. Everyone says the Shiseido one that I have is like the best eyelash curler, but I've used a lot and they're all low-key the same. I think this one probably, like everyone says, fits the Asian eye shape a little bit better. Okay, well, this is not a very clumpy mascara, so maybe I shouldn't have started with this, but this is very waterproof. Right, let's see. Okay, clump. Oh dear, how do you do this? Hmm. Maybe I just don't have enough eyelashes. There's a little bit of a clump there. This is amazing mascara though. I love it because it really holds my eyelashes up. Clump, it just sticks to my tweezers. These are not clumping. The other eye was much better at clumping than this one. This eye is giving, I want to be separated. See, this eye is giving separated eyelashes. This eye is not. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Lastly, the lips. So I can see that her lips are not that dark in color. They're actually quite light. So I do have a lip color that I think would have been perfect. However, I have run out. So like this color, I think would have been perfect for the look. However, as you can see, I finished it. Only use it on the middle and blend it out so it doesn't look quite as dark because this is quite dark. And there we go. It's a little too dark, I think. I think I need more of a pinky color. However, I don't have one. As you can tell, this was a really smooth makeup look that didn't take that much time at all. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. I do think though, the skin is giving pretty similar. I think I might, I could contour a little bit more. It's not that bad, is it? Now we move on to the hair. I bought these hair bands, the clear ones that will rip out your hair. I watched a lot of Xiao Hongshu videos on how to do her hairstyle, and it looks pretty simple, and I've done it. So I'm not gonna do the zigzaggy that I've seen a lot of Xiao Hongshu creators do, so I'm gonna do this. They said to split out the 
top of your hair here. So I'm just gonna take a section. I don't think it has to be that neat, to be honest. Take out that section and clip it, whatever, messily. And then I'm gonna split my hair, the rest of my hair down the middle. And I'm very glad that I'm actually doing this hairstyle because it's so hot that having my hair off of my neck would be really nice or like not fully out, you know? And then I'm gonna split these into two. One thing I saw that every creator on Xiao Hongshu said was to braid this way so then it frames your face a bit more. So I'm sure you all know how to do a three, three way braid, but here we go. This way, this way. I like braiding a lot. It doesn't actually have to be that neat because from the, you know, the hairstyle you can see from hers, it's not that neat. It doesn't have to be all the way to the end, actually. You take one of these and just tie it. I'm gonna do all my braids and then I will come back to show you how to make them a bit more like hers because hers has some other texture in it as well. So yeah, I'm saying as if you guys are following this tutorial. This is literally a get ready with me that I don't think anyone's gonna do this look. Unless you're going to a G Idol concert and you're like, you know how I'm gonna look like Yuchi? And then also not have any of the right products or colors or anything and not know how to do eyeliner, then I've got you, girl. Also, it would help if your top layer wasn't as short as mine, because like, as you can see, this one looks very short. But that's because my hair is layered and that might not be the best thing. Now onto the part that is, I think, quite fun, is that you can see in her hair, there are bits that aren't braided perfectly. So what I saw in the Xiaohong Shu, it was that the girlies were like, just flip your hair in itself. So it doesn't look that neat, but I don't know if that looks great. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just do it. I would recommend if you are doing this hairstyle to pull pull it up a little bit. At least I have a very flat head. So like this part doesn't look quite as flat. And especially the back braid. I would actually recommend also curling these bits probably. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna show you guys the back. So with this, I think it does cover up the middle bit, so it doesn't make you look so bald. And when you do flip around, you know, your hair is kind of like a little bit of a jellyfish, which I think is quite cute. Woo! We're done! Look at that! I think we gotta contour a little bit more, but that's the final look. Do I look even more like Yuchi or do I look less like Yuchi? I look, you think I look less like Yuchi after this makeup, but I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. So guys, that was the whole look the get ready with me, the hair, the makeup, everything put together. How do you think it went? Do you think this is convincing at all? Do you think I look more or less like Yuchi? You know, I was dealt a certain hand of cards. I can only do so much. I'd love to hear your comments about kind of how you think this look went, as well as the overall, what do you guys do over the last two years? Because I'm genuinely so curious to hear what have been some major life updates. Even if there weren't any life updates, tell me some of the dramas you guys have been watching. I will not react to them, but I would love to hear about what has been going on over the last two years. What have I missed? Controversy. I love some controversial content as well. Let me know if there were any scandals or any big pieces of news i want to keep this super open with you guys and if this is the first time you've ever watched me welcome i doubt it but i'm really excited to have you here and to everyone who has been sticking around and waiting for me to come back i'm coming back and i hope you guys are so excited for what is to come because i'm super excited to be coming back and speaking to you guys a lot more and doing lots of other content as well things that don't necessarily have to be reactions but so many other things I'm so excited, so let me know what you guys want, what has been going on over the last few years, and just tell me anything. I'm so excited, and I hope you guys are too, so I will see you in my next video. Bye!